Hello and welcome to an episode of Talk About It Thursday with Brie. Today we are going to be talking a little bit about guilt and shame and how we make ourselves follow that cycle and pattern of thinking. And sometimes we do these things, these little uh, practices of guilt and shaming ourselves and don't even know it, don't even realize it because we've been doing it for so long and we've been taught it and... I'm bringing up this topic because I see it a lot in my community and I feel like it's so ingrained that people don't even realize they're doing it and I used to do it and I didn't even realize that I was doing it and now I'm starting to see that it's very important that we are talking about this so that we can stop and end that cycle now. So uh, I was at dinner and one of my friends was talking about how um, you know she should have been there for one of my sister's parties that she had like last year and at the time she was in a relationship that was keeping her from really enjoying her life so she was feeling guilty and ashamed of not being to attend any of the parties and the gatherings that she was having and she was at the dinner table and she was just like I just should have been there you know like I should have been there and I haven't gone to any of your parties and my sister's like it's okay you know you're here now and she just kept saying it she's like no no but I should have I should have and I just felt so bad. I felt so bad for her that she was punishing herself like that. And, you know, at that place, in that moment, I didn't say anything to her because I wanted, you know, my sister and her, because it was the conversation was between her. They were having it, like, between. I was in the middle, but I didn't really say anything. But I've seen other people that are close to me do the same thing, and it hurts me when I, when I see it because I used to do that. So what I like to say now is, we are not the people that we were yesterday, right? We can change. And when we do that, when we shame and we guilt ourselves and we say things like, I should have done that or I could have done this, you're right. Yeah, you could have and maybe you should have. But you, you did it. And what can we do now about it? And what we can do now about it is let ourselves develop. Let ourselves grow. Let us just learn from our past. You know, let that lesson be the prize We've spent all those times in those years and whatever situation that we were in, putting ourselves down or whatever and letting ourselves be manipulated, controlled. I don't know what your story is. But all I know is that is in the past now. We can't do anything about it. What can we do now? What what can we do now? Now we are here. Now we are learning from our mistakes. Now we are growing and we are developing and that's what friends and family are for. They're there to be your support system. So... If you're my friend and family watching this, I just want to thank you for being part of my journey, for supporting me. And hopefully if you're watching this, you have friends and family that have seen you develop and, and grow and that you yourself are there for your friends that are going through these journeys of growth and development because it takes time and it takes a lot of encouragement. And the fact that those people are there for you is awesome. But the thing is, you need to be there for yourself too, right? Give yourself the props and give yourself that encouragement that you need to grow. So be there for yourself and give yourself that reward of, I wasn't there in the past, I'm here now. What can I do now to change differently so I don't do that anymore? If asking for someone's forgiveness is a way that you're going to be able to set yourself free, then do that. If writing yourself love notes is going to help you set yourself free and help you forgive yourself, then do that. But remember to just be there for yourself and what can you do now? How have you changed? Because there was a mindset that was keeping you in that past. But now you're changing. So if you want different results, you have to behave differently. So part of behaving differently is giving yourself that self-love so that you can move on and develop. And it takes years and time, so don't judge yourself. Give yourself the props for what you are doing. I am here today, though. You know, but I am the best friend that I can be today. Give yourself that freedom because you're the only ones going to be able to give yourself that permission to let go and be free. And when you start doing these things, when you start asking yourself for forgiveness, when you start asking other people for forgiveness, when you start changing and you start giving yourself that self-love, not only do you change, but the people around you, they start to see you differently and they start treating you differently too. Not all people. But your environment will start to change as you start to change and it'll start changing for the better when you decide to finally let that heaviness go so i hope this has encouraged you some way in in the path that's going to lead you to love and to light and that brightness that is in you because it is there it's just we have to learn how to unleash it and this is the work that it takes so 
thank you for watching and if this has helped you please share it and if you know someone that needs to hear it share it comment um, subscribe to the channel so that you're updating with all the new videos and content that's being shared with you um, just to let you know that you're not alone in this journey of just self you know this journey of life we all have our struggles and this is what this is for to let you know that you're not alone so please join the talk about a Thursday group if you like because there there are people that are sharing their stories and how they relate or how they don't relate and we can all help each other grow and just be there for each other so thank you for listening remember to like comment and subscribe and share the video if you if this has helped you so thank you for watching and I hope that you join us again for our next episode of talk about a Thursday with Bree. see you next time